I'm so thankful to be a part of this project, the Dear Someone Project. I'm just thankful to be able to be able to share a little bit from a therapist point of view, reading this story that I got to read today. And as I read this story today, it really um, made me really think about how hard communication can be, how hard it can be to be in a marriage where maybe you have hurts and you have pains and you have struggles and you bring some of those hurts, pains and struggles unintentionally into the marriage, into the dynamics of the marriage. And so as I was reading this story, I realized that both couple, the husband and the wife, they both had hurts. They both were angry. They both were frustrated and they just didn't didn't have the tools that they needed to be able to communicate those hurts and those frustration. And then you see as they were hurting, as the, the wife left and spent the night a few days at her friend's house, and how then she comes back to the house and you see that that was healthy, that was good that she had separated and how she comes back to the house and then they agree to do counseling. But even before that, you see that she said she was anxious, she was depressed, she was upset, and this was affecting her and her husband, and it was also affecting their kids, and how the kids were sad, and how the kids were struggling, and how they, they just needed someone to talk to. They needed that third party to be able to speak into their marriage, to give them the tools because they clearly loved each other, right? They clearly cared for each other and loved each other in order to get married. And so they just needed that person to be able to speak into that marriage. And I'm thankful that they found a therapist that they could talk to to help them gain the tools to be able to communicate effectively, be able to listen effectively, to be able to understand each other's point of view. And as the story goes on, it does say that um, you know, they're still married four years later, and again, they still have a ways to go, but they are still married and they're fighting for their marriage, which is beautiful to see. And I also think about how many other people may be struggling. A lot of couples, it, it's hard to be married. It's hard at times to be able to be married and to understand how to live life together in a way that is meeting each other's needs, being able to, to be able to communicate to each other, to be able to understand each other. And so I wonder how many other people maybe relate to this story and think, yeah, I'm either there, I've been there, or maybe I I could see us getting there because we're not really seeing eye to eye on things. And so that's why I'm so thankful to be a, a therapist that does work with many couples. And I'm just thankful that that we have people that are willing to, to come to therapy, that we have couples that are willing to come to therapy because it can be a real blessing to help. And I, I want to just encourage that if you're struggling to reach out to a therapist, don't don't hesitate because there are a lot of people that wait. And actually, the average time that it takes for a couple to reach out to a therapist is about seven years. So if you have seven years of, of hurts, that's a lot to work through. So if the sooner you reach out, the better. And we do have financial aid for those that may need it, which is a real blessing. I, that's why, one of the reasons I love working at Wellspring is because we really care about our clients. We really care. We want to help clients but also if you're watching this and maybe you're feeling led to give and be able to give that little bit of help to somebody else that maybe or another couple excuse me that may need the help that that would be really appreciated as well so thank you